Hi, so last week I talked about how thinking positively doesn't work, and so this week I wanted to talk about what to do instead of thinking positively. Instead, you should be embracing your fear. What am I talking about when I say fear? I'm talking about anything that makes you feel bad, anything that makes you feel powerless, helpless, hopeless, depressed, sad, negative, whatever you want to call it, it's all rooted in fear. It's um, part of the duality of our existence. Everything's rooted in love or fear. These feelings are rooted in fear. So embrace your fear. And what that means is when something triggers you, when something pisses you off or pushes your button, and you feel that flood of emotion, say thank you and welcome it. So befriend your fear and treat it like a child. So start asking it, what's wrong? Where, where'd you come from? Where did you originate? When did you first feel this way? When was the last time you felt this way? What will make you feel better? Things like this. And let the answers just come right out of you. This isn't an intellectual process at all. Asking all of these questions will eventually get your fear to communicate with you. It's so used to being suppressed or denied or made an enemy of that it may take a little while for you to really master this process. But just be, just be patient with it. And you're going to get different expressions other than just language. You're not just going to get language. You're going to get visuals. You're going to get smells, tastes, symbols, flashbacks. You're going to get feelings. We have what's called an emotional body. And it's something that's energetic. We carry imprints around in our body. And these imprints are created from one initial scar, from one childhood situation in which we suppressed our emotion and dissociated ourselves from that situation. Ever since that moment, there has been an imprint in our body that we've been reliving throughout the course of our lives. So the goal is to get to the bottom of each emotional imprint. You're going to have probably many. Once you're triggered, you know, communicate with the fear, let the fear flood up fully. You have to fully experience that emotion as if you were actually in that situation 10, 20, 30 years ago. And it's not going to take effort for you to do this. It's going to just, it's going to just come out of you if you're doing it the right way. Just be patient with this process. What's triggering you today on such a deep, disturbing level is not a product of what's actually happening in your day-to-day -day life. It's because it's touching a wound. It's like pouring salt in a wound. And there's something about your current situation that's triggering you. It's triggering the memory of the emotional body from your past scar. Just that alone should release some of the tension in your life. In the society that we live in, we learn to make an enemy out of the fear. We call it feeling bad. We don't want to feel bad and we want to change our thoughts to make us feel better feeling thoughts and we want to ignore it and it'll go away and it, things like this but it never goes away these feelings are here to communicate something to you and so until you acknowledge them and hear them out they're not going to go away so if you have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise have a lovely week I'll see you next time